Good evening, this is Bruce and uh, welcome to my shop again. Um, today we're going to do a repair on a caliper, on a, a, a vehicle caliper uh, that's um, coming in from uh, one of my clients, uh, a garage. And um, there's one thread stripped on that, uh, one of those uh, tensioning threads on the, on the caliper is stripped. Uh, we'll show that in a minute. But I've set it up in the, in the mill. Um, uh, just a sec, we might turn this around. Um, see if we can show you that. Um, yeah, so th this thread th on this side here. This, uh, this thread's okay, this thread's been stripped out. Um, now what we intend to do is to put a full insert in here. I sometimes put wire inserts, but where I can, I try and use a, uh, a full insert. So I'll just swing the camera back a bit. Um, so we can, we can talk to the camera. Um, okay, so what we have is a kit. This is a worth kit, and it's what they call the time cert kit. Well, there you go. That's the time cert kit, and it comes it comes complete with all the tools. We'll show you those tools. Um, it comes with uh, th this kit. Actually, is a twelve by one point two five, so it's for spark plug repairs. One one of the sizes of spark plug repairs. So it comes with a tap. Uh, which can screw into the, thre the existing thread, what's left of it, and it then reams the hole and cuts, and cuts the, main, the thread for the insert. Um, so you don't need to drill a hole. You, you just use, and that guides you through, um, it, providing of course that that um, thread hasn't been pulled out totally and you've got nothing to connect to. Um, you, you, you use that tap first, then after that, um, you use this reamer. Hello? Okay, there we go. This reamer. Um, and that reams uh, a recess down, a counter bore, which takes the top end of the insert. So the insert itself, this, this is the time cert insert. This is a, th a thin walled insert, as you can see. And the reamer uh, makes that head part for here so that this will come down flush. In our case here this is going to be a little bit too long but we'll grind that off afterwards when we set it up. Now in order to install it uh, what we have is an install tool. Now this tool is not, it, it, it looks like a tap but it's it's actually got some uh, flat edges on it. It's not round at all and that uh, when we oil that up and then we screw that screw that into the insert. Now as we screw the insert down, uh, this it spreads the insert into the new thread and locks it up. And there's nothing more needed to be done in order to, to make that work. Um, in, the, in the standard kit, uh, they come with different lengths of these inserts, these little brass ones, uh, copper ones, and they're used for, the, um, uh, for spark plugs. So you can get you can, you can get the short series and you can get a longer series. This, this one here, a bit longer than that one. Um, now, these are made to work by hand, so they also come with a tool. Um, and this tool here is a hand tool. It's got a hexagon on one end. It's got a slot through it that you can put the handle in. Uh, and it then engages in the, the uh, tang here engages in the slot and the spring comes over it and you can hand ream with it. But we're going to put it in the middle and we're going to use it. We're only going to use this part. Um, so there you have that, uh, that side. In, inside this box I also have uh, another set in here which is for quarter inch NPT which is another common one that, that I use. So without further ado we're, we're going to get going. Oh, but, yeah, let me turn that around. Let's 
swing it this way, swing it that way. We'll bring it in a bit closer. There we go. We'll lock that up. Lock that up. And we'll go ahead and drill and tap it. Now, one of the things, let's turn that around so I can see. One of the things here is that I've, I've grasped it in a way that I'm not putting pressure, undue pressure on it because it's quite thin around there. So I've, I've put, a, I've put a, a key into here and a key behind it. But what that's caused me is I'm, I'm very, very close to the edge of the, the thread. So what I'll be doing is I'll be cutting the thread with this tap and then I'll be following through with this tap, which is a, which is a bottoming tap. Hello, come on, join up. Okay. So, first of all, we'll, we'll lock this one up. Bring that down so you can see it. Can you see it? That's it. That's an ER40 collet. A standard collet. Put it on slow speed. You see that okay? Yes, we can. Now, we're not using any lubricants or anything here. Um, and we'll just be running pretty quickly down with this. That's, that's as far as we're going to go with that tap. We'll now change to the we'll change and we'll hand tap it. Might zoom that out a fraction. Okay, we're clear of that. Now this um, will fit in there okay, but we need to make that counter ball uh, first. Come a bit closer, so we'll remove that tap, fit up the counter ball, put it down. Hopefully, we'll have enough room. Yes, we have. should be able to see that counter ball now down there. We'll go back out again. Now we've got the applicator. Now the applicator we must, we just must put lots of lots of oil on it. I'm uh, using my normal oil that uh, I use here in the workshop which is um, hydraulic oil 
46 hydraulic. We uh, we screw the applicator onto there. Uh, we can we can put some uh, Loctite on. Don't have to, but uh, we we can always do that. But generally speaking, I don't. We don't need that. So now we're going to screw that down. Now you can see that screwed. That screwed down all the way, but the applicator hasn't. So what we do with the applicator um, is we screw it, and it, it tightens up. It gets harder. It gets tighter, and then when it's fully filled through, it'll get, it gets quite loose. So now it's tightening up, and that's spreading that insert. It's spreading it out. Now it's, it's free again. So that's when we take it out. Now we'll uh, take that out and show you. So there we have it, we've successfully repaired that strip thread. Uh, what we have at the back is a slight protrusion, the um, thread, so I will, I will just take the, uh, a flap disc and I'll grind that clean and the job is done and we've got a very very good solid insert locked up in there, uh, job uh, uh, another successful job. I'll deliver that first thing in the morning. They can put the car back together again and we're off into the sunset.